in October 2016, the story breaks. Interest in her and her family and her friends, you know, exploded overnight. It puts her in the spotlight. It gave certain areas of the press the, the, the ability to put out headlines like The Prince and the Showgirl. It seemed so unimaginable that Prince Harry would, would be dating an American actress. It just, the whole thing, it just didn't compute. I think the media were, were concentrating on this country. It hadn't occurred to them that Harry might be seeing somebody abroad. Perhaps we shouldn't have been too surprised. Back in the 1880s, when one of Harry's ancestors was looking for a bride, he too turned to America. Harry actually has an American great-great-grandmother. And so there is already American blood in, in the royal family. Frances Work is the daughter of a millionaire New York stockbroker and the great-grandmother of Lady Diana Spencer. Frances Work was handsome. She was famous for having the most wonderful décolletage of, of, uh, of her era. She really wasn't interested in convention. She would go unchaperoned to restaurants, wouldn't wear a hat. She was a rebel. In 1880, Frances exchanges her cash for class when she marries an Irish aristocrat called James Burke Roche. He was very good-looking, dashing, charming, and she just fell mad in love with him. And I don't know whether he fell in love with her or with her father's fortune. So Frances becomes a million-dollar American princess. That select group of American heiresses who marry into the British aristocracy, an exchange of dollars for titles. And now another American princess prepares to enter the British aristocracy. Although with a net worth of $33 billion, her new family doesn't need the money. The old millionaire princesses of a century or so ago, they brought cash to this country. She brings a kind of cultural wealth because she's different, she has a totally different background, she has a different take on the world, and she is a modern, determined woman who has things to do and things to say. Plus, she is incredibly glamorous, which does her no harm at all. So it's all pluses. 